and welcome back and today I want to talk about another one of the many ways in which you can make the most of your NAS. It's so another quick video and today I want to talk about how to download in bulk form all of your favourite podcasts automatically onto your NAS. You only really have to do this once per podcast and then every now and then all your podcasts will be stored ready to access on your NAS in batch form. And again, you can stream these via DLNA to all your devices or use internet services to access it anywhere in the world or just download them automatically or manually to your mobile phone to listen to on the commute. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do on your QNAP is install the application Download Station. If you don't already have it installed, go to the App Center and on the Categories list, click Download here and there it is right there in the middle. It's a completely free application and let's open it up once you've opened it up this is where we download everything you can download FTP, NZB, BT, RSS and HTTP style downloads there are, if you need to download files onto your NAS you're almost certainly going to use this application now for the selective podcast depending on the podcast you listen to if you go to their own website chances are somewhere on that page will be the letters RSS and the ability to have a link to feed into your podcast downloader of choice. What I recommend, however, is to go to podbay.fm and type the name of your podcast. It's pretty much the go-to resource for podcasts and RSS feeds. Just like my previous video, we'll be using the Bugle podcast because it is bloody sensational, and also because I'd like as many people as possible to hear about this podcast. So. In order to get this onto your NAS, where it says open RSS feed, right click and go to copy link address. Then on the QNAP, on the side here, at the bottom you've got RSS. What we need to do is click the add function. We'll give it a name, we'll just call this Bugle. We give it the URL we've copied. We can then store the location of temporary files and finished files, which can let them go into the download folder. So as they're slowly downloading, they'll be in the download folder. If they're, you know, a folder made up of many folders, uh, of many files, and it will move to download. But for now, they'll all live in there. We then click apply. And what it does is it says it's found it. And if we want to create any filters, so if we're looking, for example, looking at these lists here, if we want one that involves a certain person, such as Hondigara, uh, Hondi Karabolu or different individual people or a subject we can add those search keywords in to only give us those if we choose if we don't want to use any of those filters you know like numeric numbers you only want ones going forward from a certain number onwards because you've listened to a bunch in the past you can add those filters too so now we've got our RSS feed for the bugle and straight away as you can see on the left all of these bugles are now available to download on the right hand side that is the official list up to date at this time of recording what we can do is either we can download all of them by clicking there and it will download every single episode or we can be selective and don't have to say we wanted the most recent episode click there and just click the download button that's it it will add it to our download list and now it's downloading that episode of this podcast onto the NAS. And it will be in our downloads folder. So if we open the file manager in our download folder, there's our temporary file file. So the temporary file is being held in this folder and it will be moved over to the completed download folder once it's finished. And that's it. Actually, progress at 77%. And this folder can be synchronized with your mobile device very easily if you want it to be um, automatic. As you can see, the file is finished. Once a file is finished, you can just right click the item and you can remove it. And what removing will do is it will remove it from the list, but not from the NAS. If you want to remove it and the file, click remove and delete data. But for now, we're just gonna remove that from the task list. And there you have it. If we go to the file station app, go back into download, and there's our episode of the Bugle. We can listen to that on our PC, we can stream it via DLNA, and you can do everything you need to do. And this can be automatic or it can be manual, it is completely up to you. But that is how to download batches or individual podcasts to your QNAP NAS. I want to talk about how to download torrents to your QNAP NAS. Now, before we get go any further, 
please guys use this for legal purposes don't go ripping people off don't go copyright infringing and ultimately don't spoil this for the rest of us because the more people out there that abuse these systems and abuse the way these things are done the more likely it is that no one gets to play with these toys so do me a favor keep legal okay so on your QNAP NAS you want to download the application called Download Station. If you don't already have it, head to the App Center and you can find it there for free. Once you've got it downloaded, click on the app to get it started. And this is the Download Station interface. For those that watch the podcast video, you'll be eminently uh, familiar with that Bugle one down there. Now, torrents, like many download systems, are, have been designed to make downloading straightforward, easier, um, straightforward and easier for many users, as well as sharing the burden in many regards. Now, for those that aren't aware, the Internet Archive is hands down the best resource. It's, think of it more as like the Wikipedia of files. So rather than information, it's more about a historical legacy of data. Most of you have heard of Wayback Time Machine or Wayback Machine that tells you about how the Internet has changed with individual URLs and the Internet. And the archive.org for here isn't that much different. Now last time for the Synology video I showed you how to download a video torrent but for now we're going to download some software I think. Now if we go to the software section let's move that across there and you will select uh, maybe some CD-ROM selection or maybe some apps. There's so many things to pick from and I cannot recommend the, the archive enough. But say we go for the Doom Level CD collection. So someone has uploaded this and made it readily available. So if we have a look at um, uh, Mega Doom, this looks like a bootleg version of Doom. And from here, you can find out what the rules are if you're allowed to download it. And again, I do recommend before you do any action on these, just to double check that you won't be infringing any copyright with regards to downloading any of these files. But again, generally, the internet, uh, the archive.org, you should be absolutely fine, particularly if it's shareware or um, has the right uh, credentials. So, from here, you want to go on the right hand side on this particular website, but things do change. And you can either download the torrent file, which is kind of the file that gives the instructions to the NAS, or better still, right click, go to copy link address, then head over to your QNAP NAS, go there, and from here, click the plus symbol at the top. Enter either the URL that we just copied, or if you click torrent file, you can upload that file we downloaded, but I recommend our input URL. From here, paste in that thing, uh, the link that you, you copied earlier, and make sure it ends in .torrent or .trt. From there, click next, here is where you would select whether temporary files are based. So if it's multiple files within one zip folder or one folder, they'll live there until they're completed and they move to here. So for now, we're going to go with download. We're not going to worry about all the other folders. And we're going to move forward from there. And that's it. Now, we're downloading this file directly from the archive as a torrent. Again, you can download so many different kinds of folders and files. And for now, it looks like it has completed. It didn't seem like it was a particularly big folder or file. Uh, we haven't got too much information on its actual size. But as you can see, it's already started downloading those files and folders for us. And that's it. We're downloading. Let's go there. And we're up to 13% progression. Now, the speed at which your file will download will be based on the number of peers and seeds, as well as the internet speed you already have. Once a file is completed, it will be moved, as you can see from this other file, over to here, whereupon you can either remove from the task list or remove and delete data, which completely removes the file from your NAS. And again, you can do this with any kind of torrent file, but I urge you to stay legal and not to commit any kind of crime doing this. I'm going to delete these files here. Remove and delete data. And there you have it. That has been how to download a torrent on your QNAP NAS. We will be doing a few other things uh, with these two NASs while we've got them set up side by side. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And do check out my other videos about how to make the most of your NAS. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.